Hey everyone, how are you doing? Callum here with a prepared version 5 video and today I'm just going to take you through all of the different menus and options available in the new version. Now nothing too much has changed except mostly the UI which we can see here. So we have this uh, new UI on the left hand side and it looks a little bit cleaner than probably in previous versions. So uh, here on the application We've got the general settings, so things such as the pause on task and the screenshot format, uh, a bunch of other options as well, which again are very similar to what we've seen before. Now moving on to information, we have the vehicle labels, which are typical for different AI aircraft or if you're flying online or with some friends, and this will show you various different things. Primary text info boxes are the things in the top left and right hand corner. And again, you also have air traffic control menus and other text settings too. Sound, pretty straightforward. You can choose the playback device and then also you can adjust the volume levels. Over in traffic, again, this is where you can adjust the density of airline traffic, so your AI, and also general aviation and also the airport vehicle density. So that can be uh, set to none, low, medium or high. In realism, you have a variety of different things you can do to make the flight dynamics more real, depending on how you choose to fly, along with crashes, as well as engine stressing and other settings too, such as visualizing GFX. Now, my add-on library is pretty much empty, as is the scenery library, apart from the default, but it's great that you can actually see exactly where everything is installed in a nice, easy-to-find location. Now display, this is where you can set your global deep, uh, settings, so you can also set different profiles, adjust the V-Sync, the frame rates, and also the texture and image quality as well. As for the world, this is where you can change things such as the terrain, the scenery objects, water, and this is where most of you will do your scenery uh, configurations to try and get that optimal performance. Now the enhanced atmospherics, I believe, is the True Sky implementation and you can turn that on or off with a simple tick box. As for lighting, this is where you can enable HDR lighting, adjust the brightness, bloom and saturation. You can also enable dynamic reflections, which is perfect for on the aircraft. Now in the key assignments, you can adjust everything here, including the axis as well, which is in a different uh, selection box. So you can change everything from the ailerons, the elevator, and also the throttles, it, right down to individual engines as well. Control calibration, this is where you can change the different settings depending on your joystick or other applications. And then finally in other controls, there is something for force feedback, which I think is new, along with touch using gestures and multi-touch. Now this is the professional pro license, so that may have something to do with it. One more menu I want to go into is the multiplayer and once you have allowed access for prepared version 5 then you can do all sorts of different multiplayer components as well. So you can join a session, obviously no sessions available here right now. You can also host a session and this is where you can create different rooms with passwords and number of players and you can set a whole range of different options in here too. Everything from how players interact, if they can slew, pause, and also if there are enablements of anti-cheat methods. So you can name the sessions, whatever you want, and then get that information shared to others if you want them to join the game. That wraps up everything that I want to talk about in the prepared version 5 menu system. So it's not too drastically different from previous versions of prepared, but still it's insightful to see how everything is put together compared to previous versions. As always, stick with FS Elite for future prepared version 5 content, and for now, I'll speak to you again soon.